Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and today I want to make a video that a, probably a bunch of casual gaming people might not know the answer to. And what is a meta in a game? Sometimes you play with a pro at the game and you hear the word meta, okay? And what exactly is a meta? And it involves strategy and tactics put together. So, real quick, Strategy, think of strategy as like your overall plan and tactics are the little inner workings inside of the plan that you use to pretty much do the strategy. That's what strategy and tactics are. So when you play a video game, if there are any skill sets you can upgrade or any anything you can really upgrade that's not on like a set path, like a, a great example of this is Zelda, okay? Zelda, you're kind of on a set path to upgrade your equipment. You can still get slightly better equipment, but you're kind of on a set path. So there's not really a lot of metas in that game. There still is, and we'll get to that in a second. But take a game like League of Legends, Smite, Skyrim, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Those games all have vast amounts of skills, vast amount of leveling up, and there are metas. Metas are the combination of strategy, tactics, and skills that Com combine to be better than everything else. So let's just take Skyrim for example, okay? You are a one-handed fighter, okay? You can upgrade, let's just say you want to be a one-handed axe fighter, you would upgrade one-handed axe skills. That creates a one-handed axe fighter meta. And then beyond that, let's just say you upgrade restoration so that you can upgrade, you know, you cast a spell, you make it so your one-handed axe is even more stronger, you're creating a meta right there. Your axemanship is by far better than someone who tries to be an all-rounder. All right, now when we get to Zelda, Zelda's got the metas only with the potions, okay? Unless, you know, the new Zelda, there is metas, but in older Zeldas, yeah, a master sword, a shield, and different potions. The only meta is picking your potions. And that's okay. That's fine. That's a meta. Strategy games have metas too. Clash Royale. You have eight card choices. You can pick whatever you want. It is very clear in that game that some decks are better than others. Okay? If someone's deck is better than yours, they have a better meta than you. Okay? And even in Clash Royale, though, the game is pretty balanced. Most of the top metas only win about 60 to 65 percent of their games, anyways. So, you know, they're, they're, they have to take into account you know, balancing and stuff. But generally speaking, metas are in any game that you can pick what type of strategy, what type of tactics you have, and those are at your disposal. All games don't really have to have metas. Okay, metas are usually in a game where there's an enemy that you have to kill, not necessarily a pu puzzle to solve, but definitely enemies you have to kill, opponents you have to defeat. And some metas are random, like PUBG. Sometimes you spawn, everyone knows this, sometimes you spawn in, you have a shotgun and a pistol, sometimes you spawn in, you get a sniper rifle and an AKM, okay? And you have to build up your meta off of randomized loot. That sometimes creates more complex situations, but generally speaking, there's always metas. In, in any game, any game where you can pick your equipment, you can pick your troops, you know, strategy games, especially especially strategy games, have insane metas. Metas actually create skill gaps because if you are a non-skilled player, you do not know what a meta is in the game. You don't know what the game's metas are. As opposed to a professional player or someone who's very skilled at the game who knows a lot of the inner workings and knows the metas. A great example of this is me. I've been playing Clash Royale for a long time, so I know a lot more metas than someone who just joins. Plus, I have, I mean, I have access to more cards and more cooler stuff, honestly, because I am a professional, not really. But, you know, if someone just comes in, they're not going to know the metas of Clash Royale. Metas are very, very important to pro league scenes. They create a kind of 4D chess game. Because you have, you know, in general metas, and then you have alternate metas and all this other stuff. A great example of this is in, like, League of Legends or Smite. If you have a character that does high damage, someone's going to create, give like a tank character high defense. To beat the defense, you have to get rid of your damage and add penetration. So then the defensive character has to add penetration defense by lowering their defense, then you up your attack. It gets very complicated. It's a chess game. Like I said, chess game. If you know that I have an, like a, a meta that adds fire damage, you're going to build a meta 
that defends against fire damage. And that's really it that I can explain for metas. They're pretty cool. I like studying them in some games. You know, character builds are metas. You know, Clash Royale has good metas. So does PUBG. I'm trying to figure out some meta skills for that. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more gaming and casual gaming videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.